Tucker said that uh, said yesterday that Tucker is one of the most underrated players in the game. He's, he said that before, but do you feel like this playoffs could be his kind of coming out party a little bit, and that everyone uh, kind of get to know more about him in well, his game? You know, we're on TV quite a bit, and um, so the people that really follow baseball uh, know what he's doing and what he's capable of doing. Uh, for those, uh, you know, for some of the people that aren't as familiar with baseball, it, it, it'll be a coming out party, but for the people that know he can play and what he's, his improvements that he's made the last couple of years, uh, you know, shouldn't be any surprise. Dusty, what have you seen from Luis Robert um, on, the, on their lineup? You've, you guys have had a difficult time getting him out the first two games. What makes him, uh, what makes him so special as a player? Number one, I mean, he can hit. I mean, I heard he could hit. But it's the first time I've really seen him ever and in person. Um, you know, he has, uh, you know, great balance at the plate. Um, you know, he can hit that fastball. And, uh, and he uses, the, you know, the whole field. You know, he, he's, he's a very accomplished player. I don't know how old he is, but he's far exceeds his age as far as knowing, you know, how to hit. And uh, when we came in here the first time, um, you know, they were, uh, <clears throat> you know, a little down because he wasn't, you know, in the lineup. But um, he's certainly, a, you know, one of the best young hitters I've seen. Garcia just said that, you know, he's going to go out there tomorrow night and just throw his game and he doesn't really expect any sort of limitations. Is that the plan? Is, are the reins completely off? Yeah, that is the plan. I mean, that's always the plan with him. You know, he's on more of a performance bon uh, um, uh, monitor. But, I mean, we also know uh, we have to go on the historical uh, path, too, as well. So, you know, we'll keep an eye on when we get to that, you know, historic point. But, uh, I mean, right now we just need uh, Luis to throw strikes and, and, and quality strikes. And what about how far he's come this season has given you the confidence to, to throw him tomorrow? Well, I mean, you know, the stuff that he has, the repertoire pitches that he has. And, uh, you know, I've seen very young pitchers um, come in these situations and have uh, actually more success than young hitters. You know, because I think, uh, you know, it's easier to, as long as you're calm, as long as you're not um, – appalled by the situation um, <clears throat> or get caught up in a situation, I think it's easier to throw the ball where you want to than it is to, you know, to, you know, to hit a ball. And so uh, I've been, in my past, I've been fortunate enough to have, like, Fernando Valenzuela come in at a very young age, Bobby Welch at a very young age in the World Series, um, you know, Rick Roden. Uh, Oral Hershiser, Alejandro Pena, a lot of younger, uh, you know, players have come in and performed well at a at a very young age and uh, you know, a young experience age. Uh, Martin just talked a few minutes ago. From your seat watching him and how he uh, works with the pitchers, specifically a guy like Luis is going to play tomorrow, how fun has that been from, from your seat to watch well, Malinato? I mean, you know, that's his, his job, and he does it very, very well. You know, uh, um, a catcher directs the pitcher. I mean, the pitcher gets the credit or discredit, but the, but the catcher, you know, directs him through the ball game. You know, I mean, he's underneath the hitter. He's following the game reports. He sees the hitter's, uh, uh, you know, differences in stance. He sees if a hitter's close to the plate or away from the plate to determine kind of what he's looking for. Um, and he's like a, and he's not afraid to take charge. You know, that's his job. And uh, as a catcher, you know, he's my, my field general. You know, I mean, you know, he's my number one man on the field. And, uh, and you got to have that trust uh, you know, in your field, General, because you're not out there in the field. I mean, you're you're peeking at it from the outside, and uh, so uh, and plus, you know, Machete um, slows the running game down. If you give him a chance to, 
you know, to, to, uh, to have a good time to a plate, then he has a good chance of throwing you out. And sometimes they won't even try, which keeps uh, the double play situation uh, in order. I mean, it's very, very important that you try to keep as many double play situations as you can by, by them not running on you as much. Dusty, you said yesterday, you, you kind of standard, your team has to come in there with a zero zero, it's like a zero zero approach, which uh, uh, Carlos said, you're saying that <clears throat> you're, you're, <clears throat> you're a wise man for saying something like that. It's a perfect statement. Mm -hmm. How do you view how your team is approaching that and their mental, mental state right now going into game I mean, three? This team's been here before. It's not like this is their first time being here, you know, which helps a lot. Um, that's a compliment. You know, hopefully at a certain age you become a little bit wise, <laughs> and I think I should be there by now. But uh, um, you know, it is a. I mean, every every game's different. You know, I've come back from O2 in my career as a manager, as a as a player. You know, I've come back, and we've also had a two nothing lead or a three to one lead at different points. So you know, you try not to let them. You know, get off the mat and, and get and it's closer to you. So you gotta you gotta stay after. Jim. Dusty, how would you assess the state of your bullpen right now? And then, as a kind of a follow up, um, where are you at with Kendall Graveman? Um, mm -hmm. he, he's he's gotten result. He's gotten out of innings the last two times, but it maybe hasn't been the the smoothest process. Kind of where are you where are you with him right now? Well, I mean, I'm at the same place. I mean, it's a, it's a matter of one pitch actually that kind of has gotten him into trouble uh, or one situation. Uh, they've also, um, you know, hit some some uh, uh, low exit speed pitches off of it, which are still hits. But, you know, the more if you make those, those kind of pitches more than uh, not, you know, it'll be an out. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident in, in Kendall. We'll have to see how he is after his 30 pitch inning yesterday, you know, uh, you know, we'll see. And the state of my bullpen is in, is in pretty good shape. And so uh, at this point in time, everybody's bullpen's kind of, you know, a little bit weathered. So, uh, you know, a lot of it depends on, it, it really helps if your starting pitcher can take you as deep as you can into the, into the, uh, into the game. You mentioned being up 2-0 in a best of five before and not being able to close it out. What can you draw from that? Um, you know, what do you learn from that? Maybe they can help you and just the mentality and maybe prepare this time. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think back upon that too much. You know what I mean? I mean, there's that's past water. If you get in that situation again, um, which you try not to, uh, and and sometimes not a whole bunch you can do about it. You know, I mean, sometimes it depends. If they get a key hit or if they get a, a, a great pitch game about uh, uh, against you, you know, I mean, that's no reflection on you or your team. Sometime, sometime you get beat. And uh, so, like, uh, like I said, I've had, I've been on both sides, you know. Uh, I've, I've been down, I've been up, I've been up and down. So right now I'm thinking up. Oh, Dusty, um, there's some rhetoric going around today that uh, the White Sox didn't lose the game yesterday. The manager lost the game. Where do you, where do you stand on uh, responsibility for players to get the job done as opposed to managers having to stand up and uh, kind of protect them against the moment? Uh, well, I don't pay much attention to rhetoric, number one. Uh, you know, number two, uh, I've gotten to blame myself sometime. And even though, uh, you know, some of it you might have earned and some of it was, was, was out of your control. Uh, you know, so, uh, but you have to stand together as a unit and not, uh, <clears throat> you know, pass any judgment or pass any, any uh, blame because every, there's enough to go around, you know, seem like when you lose, if you've gotten a hit or if you made the play or whatever it is. Um, and, you know, I mean, that was kind of the same thing that was going 
around with it, you know, with Renteria last year. So um, there's not, like I said, I don't, I don't listen to it really, and I don't read it. Um, I tell my wife not to send it to me, <laughs> <laughs> or my relatives, or or anybody. So hey, man, they people can have whatever opinions they want. Just don't bring it to me. Dusty talking to some of the guys during BP. It's it's clear the mission is to win the World Series, but they also touched on how nice it is this year to be able to have the families along to mm -hmm. to enjoy this and experience this, and especially a day like today, a noon workout with a an evening free. Right. Uh, do you see them appreciating that to be able to kind of share this experience? Yeah, big time. I mean, because like, I mean, you know, my daughter remembers when she was young. And she's 42 now. And my son's 22, and he's coming in next Wednesday. And, you know, he's been at damn near every playoff World Series game that there is. I mean, he misses not not being here. He misses not being part of this, you know. Um, I mean, sometimes, uh, most of the time, it's a, you know, it, it accents your situation having family around because the kids, you know, uh, I mean, they're going to love you no matter what. You know, they're going to tell you, that's okay, Dad. I mean, like my daughter used to tell me sometime. Like, that's okay, Dad. You struck out three times. You know, you'll get them tomorrow. You know, because there's, I mean, the, the positiveness <clears throat> of children and, and kids, um, you know, you can't quantify that because as you get in a, into adulthood, you carry some negative events with you where these kids don't really have any negative events. Uh, or not nearly as many as you. I mean, I remember going to a little league game, and uh, and the dad was, you know, was late to the game. So I'm sitting there by the fence, and the dad says, hey, his son was playing right field. He goes, he goes, Dad, how's it going? He says, uh, he says, son, how's it going? He says, it's going good, Dad. He says, it'll be all right as soon as we get up to bat. And it was like 17 to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and so. You know, only only children feel like that, and they can, you know, they give us energy. Dusty, I know Jordan played the outfield here one one of the times in the regular season. Would you feel comfortable putting him out there um, in this if you if you need to in this series? And well, you guys it's the same. Here? It's the same situation. It just depends. Like I said, who's pitching for us? Who's pitching for them? This is a big outfield, you know. But Jordan's played. I mean, he's played. Very well out there, and he's worked at it. He's 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 uh, um, <clears throat> exerted maximum effort, to, you know, to get good at what he does playing the outfield, and uh, uh, you know he's he's helping to solidify his future as an outfielder and not only as a as a bat and a DH. He's played he's played well, which is indicative of that play. Like I told him, that play he made yesterday off the wall. And, and and held a very fast runner to to a single, kept the double play in order. The guy didn't score. I mean, that was a that was a heck of a play to me that went unnoticed. Thanks, Dusty. Okay. Yep. <laughs>